Hello, Papillion Middle School Titans. This is Miss Cole Ash, and today we are going to be covering nonfiction text structures. Just as an overview, um, again, we're going to learn about the four different text structures that authors use to organize their writing. After learning about the text structures, you'll read different Newzella articles to practice your understanding of the different structures. As an author, it is important to organize your writing. These common text structures are used in expository writing and biogra biographical writing. Again, expository writing is nonfiction writing that explains or informs the reader. It often presents information, discusses ideas, and explains a process. Biographical writing is nonfiction writing in which the author tells about important events in the life of another person. This type of writing also presents factual information and provides details and descriptions related to the person's life. The four specific structures we are going over are chronological order or sequential order, compare and contrast, descriptive, and cause and effect. With chronological or sequential order, it is the order in which events actually occur. With chronological order, you might use a graphic organizer to organize your ideas if you are going to write a chronological type paper or a biography. Here are some examples of graphic organizers you might use. When writing or reading a chronological article or sequential article, some key words that might pop out that would indicate you're reading a chronological text would be specific times and dates, initially, during, soon after, eventually. And here are some key words and phrases that you might see when reading about a sequential topic. First, second, third, next, then, following this, after, later, finally. In a compare and contrast essay, the author is going to present similarities and differences. Again, they're going to qualify the qualities of each item. Here are some graphic organizers that you might see or use when reading a compare and contrast essay or when writing a compare and contrast essay. You might see a Venn diagram or a T-chart. And again, we have keywords and phrases that you would see to compare and to contrast. So again, we have words like likewise, both, in the same way, equally, or to contrast, on the other hand, however, in contrast, even though. So if you're reading an article and these words keep popping up, you're probably reading a compare and contrast essay. With descriptive writing, the author uses words and phrases that appeal to the senses. Again, this is when we typically show, not tell the reader, what something sounds like, looks like, what it smells or tastes like. Again, think of that descriptive writing. You might need to describe how blood moves through the heart if you're writing a science paper. Or maybe you're just describing a beautiful scene on a beach. Typically, again, authors would use adjectives, adverbs, sensory words, vivid word choice, and figurative language. With cause and effect, the author is going to show how one situation can result from another and lead to yet another. Again, this might tell us how or why a situation developed. Here are some common graphic organizers that you might see. So again, we have the cause and the effect. Or you might have it the other way around with the effect and then the cause. Here are some great keywords and phrases that you might see with a cause and effect article. Because of, when, while, since, owing to, if, as a result, thus, for this reason, in effect, consequently, even though, therefore, and then. As a practice, 
When assigned, you are going to carefully read the article from Newzella. Explain in writing how the article shows a specific text structure. The first two articles you're going to read are a chronological order and a compare contrast article. Pay close attention to the words and phrases the author uses and how they organize the details of their writing into either chronological or compare contrast. Next, you will read a descriptive article and a cause and effect article. Again, pay close attention to all the details that the author uses and the organizational text structure that they use when writing those essays. Good luck, Titans, and have fun.